Hi, Fashion Dolls. It is Transformation Tuesday, December 27th, and this is the last show of this year of 2022. I can't believe the year is going out so fast. Joining me today, we have actor model Adam Bryant, and I just spoke with him. He's going to be joining me in a bit, but I hope you guys all are doing awesome today as I am. I'm super excited to have Adam here in the dollhouse with me. We're going to have some fun. Make sure you guys share this live and let everyone know the Style by Stevie is in full effect this is the last episode of this year 2022 and the lineup for january is up you guys the first week of january we kick off january 2nd at 4 p.m make sure you guys please go and check it out the lineup is up right now and also view my story so you guys can see more in detail all right um as i mentioned yesterday i went to bath and body Works semi-annual sale and it was amazing i had such a great time and the prices are amazing so go rack up on 395 body care i'm telling you it is awesome no bath and body works is not giving me anything for doing this but i love it so much i love the holidays and i love to smell good so if you know me you know that i am a bath and body works fragrance nista i am a fragrance girl so definitely go and check it out let me message adam again and let him know to come on all right fashion dolls so that we can get this show started. We're going to have some fun today. And I hope you guys are doing amazing. As you guys can see, I am sweatered up. It is cold outside. Hopefully it should warm up tomorrow. Um, I want to close this year out by thanking my amazing beauty contributor and makeup artist, Melanie Nalamai. She is absolutely dope. Through every episode, makeup complimentary of her to make me look effortless for you guys. So thank you guys for supporting this platform. While we're waiting on Adam to get here, um, I just sent him the live, so hopefully he should be joining me in a bit. But I hope you guys are doing well as well too and protecting your mental health and energy. So without further ado, let's welcome our incredibly handsome, talented guest, actor and model, Adam Bryant. Uh oh, Adam, make sure you're on your phone. Make sure you're on your phone. It won't let you join if you're on your laptop. Or you might have to update. It should be an update for IG. So we're going to give Adam a second fashion dolls and he's going to update and come back. I hope you guys are all doing awesome as I am. Again, I would love to close out this year of 2022 by thanking my amazing makeup artist, Melanie Nala, my bridgers, my team that is behind me. 100% my whole circle. We are closing out 2022. This is the last episode of this year. So we will see you guys back in January 2nd. The lineup is already up. So make sure you guys view my stories for more details. Um, for the fashions, the hair, the makeup, you guys can go through. It's a replay and catch everything. My previous episodes, everything is up there on my channel. So make sure you guys head on over and subscribe to Style by Stevie. I won't be back until January 2nd. So make sure you guys mark your calendars. The lineup for next week, next year's guest is up. We are almost at our 400 mark for 400 episodes. And I want to say thank you guys so much for your love and unconditional support. Hi, Awi. Hi, Edward. I hope you're doing wonderful. And Edward was one of my guests not too long ago. So make sure you guys go back and skim through. I think it was the previous first week of December. You guys can check that interview out. It is also up on my YouTube channel as well also. So without further ado, while we're waiting on Adam, let me see if it's ready so that I can add him. Oh, Adam, you might have to update and then come back in so that I can add you. Hey, brother. Hey, k Tooks. How are you? Um, We did a Christmas music panel together on k Tooks and Jay Evans' channel, so make sure you guys head on over and subscribe there as well. So I'm serving a little bit of Mariah Carey realness with these dangle earrings. I don't really wear dangles. I'm more of a hoop girl. Okay. It says that you will have to... You will, you will need the latest version of Instagram. Adam, go update. Go to Play Store and update and then come back. Are you on your phone? Give us a sec, Fashion Dolls, while we're trying to get Adam in here. He's here, but we're just trying to make sure that we add him to the live. We're trying to add him to the live. So while we're waiting on Adam, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going to keep the chat going, keep conversating with you guys 
what was your favorite looks of 2022 and so much more you guys have been following me from the beginning from the get-go you know almost everything about me. so i try to keep that going as well too but like i was saying i wanted to go curly today because north yesterday i went straight i had straight hair but i wanted to go curly for a reason so while we're waiting on adam let me keep checking and seeing Um, again, make sure you guys go and head on over to the K-Tooks spot and subscribe. Ken of Tooks on YouTube. Check out my brother's platform. It's amazing. I'm trying not to melt over here because it is so cold <laughs> outside. But I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Hope you guys had a blessed Christmas holiday. Um, again, as I mentioned, Bath & Body Works SAS goes up until the new year of January. So make sure you guys go and check it out. Body Care for $3.95. You can't beat that. So definitely go and check that out. It's amazing as well, too. All right. I'm over here fanning while we're waiting on Adam. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I said it over and over again. But I want to make sure that you guys are awesome mentally. I just did a post. And I said going into the new year... I said, the things that I want to is definitely lots of water intake, drinking lots of water, staying healthy, um, no sick days. Keep that in mind. I've did this show without no sick days, and I'm happy every episode has came out effortlessly. So if you guys want to go back and catch the previous episodes, um, when I'm done with the show, I'm going to drop the link in my stories. Make sure you guys go and check the link out in my story so you guys can head on over and subscribe to Style by Stevie Daytime um amazing episodes throughout the year of 2022 so let me see if adam is ready so that i can add him in nope he's not here yet give me one sec ladies and gentlemen i think he's updating which should take a minute and then i'm gonna add him right back to the live but in the meantime between time make sure you guys are going and subscribing to style by stevie daytime thank you guys for going and subscribing and liking the page also as well to so many great and amazing things to come for the new year the lineup is up so we have some amazing guests for the new year of season 17 kicking it off so the fashions are going to be very very more elevated you're going to see a whole different background a whole different everything so make sure you guys are staying tuned because we start the new season january 2nd at 4 p.m est now, a lot of shows right now on hiatus, you can catch the replays for Style by Stevie up on my YouTube channel. Almost every one of my interviews from the year of... Uh, all right, 2022. So make sure you guys are staying on top of what's going on for the new year. Let me message him and let him know. Okay, Adam is here. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. I was just about to message him, but he is here. All right, so without further ado, let's welcome our incredibly amazing, handsome special guest, Mr. Adam Bryant, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let me switch it. Switch your cam. There, I am. there we are. <laughs> Perfect. He's All here. Right. Welcome, welcome to the dollhouse. Thank you. I did have to update. Yes. I did have yes. to update my app. Yeah, so it all worked out. How you doing? I am doing wonderful. How are you doing? I'm trying to fix my stand real quick. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I just have to hold it. <laughs> You're perfect. Welcome, 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 Adam, to the dollhouse. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you for having me. So wonderful to have you. So before we kick off this interview, we're closing out. This is my last show for the year of 2022 before I go into 
the 17th season on my platform. And you're closing it out with me. This is the last show for this year. So it's very, very special to me. I'm honest. So thank you. One word to describe 2022, closing out, going into the new year, because the year has wrapped up so fast. One word to describe myself. One word to describe the year of 2022. Uh, oh, how it was for me? Uh, challenging. Yeah. Challenging. Um, but still blessed. I cannot, I'm still here kicking it, but challenging. How about for yourself? Absolutely. I would have to say emotional. Mm. It's, it's been a lot. I've been having to learn to have, and I just said it in the beginning, before you stepped out to go update, I said it's been emotional with having to update. And not only that, but shift my energy mentally with everything that's been going on around me. It's been, it's been hectic. So, and I know for a lot of us, it's been ups and downs. So I would have to say emotional roller coaster. Hey, girl. Same. <laughs> same here. Same here. So I said, yeah, challenging. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. All right, so I had to take a deep breath off of that because I know everybody can relate. So yeah. let's kick you off. How did the world get introduced to Adam Bryant? You're not only just a model, but you also act as well, too. So tell us a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, your background in the world of modeling and acting. Where did you get the bug from? At what age did you discover, okay, this is something wow. that um, I want to do? I didn't know if you knew this, but I'm an identical twin. Um, so we've always been artists since, since I can remember, creative, since I can remember. So I started in Cleveland, Ohio, where I'm from, um, doing my thing here and then decided to move to LA once I had reached that glass ceiling, per se. You know what I mean? Once I, I couldn't do much more here in Cleveland, decided to move. But it's been a, I've been a dancer, choreographer, actor, model since I can remember, forever. <laughs> Forever. Yeah. So I just had to move and get away from here once I had reached that class film. You know, called a Greyhound bus. Isn't that crazy? From Cleveland, Ohio to Los Angeles and never looked back. Mm -hmm. Did that answer the question? Yes. And <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, you said Cleveland. Um, when I think of Cleveland, Ohio, I think of Holly Berry. That's her yeah. hometown. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are from here. Terrence Howard. Holly Berry, yeah. uh, it's a lot of people. But yeah, those are two of the major ones from here. Yeah. It's, oh, I mean, the OJs, the LeVert. Oh, it's a good, it's a good video. We, we've been all day going on and on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So at what age did you and your twin, because you said you have an identical twin. That's baffling to me. I didn't know. I thought it was just one of you. My but at what age did you guys? discover, okay, this is something that I want to do. Um, like I said, it's just in my whole spirit for a long period of time, so I can't really give you a date, but at a young age, I already knew I was some type of entertainer, and I just kind of dived into everything, you know, just kind of went for it, you know, mm -hmm. and he's an artist himself. His name is Robert. No twin name. Our parents want us to have our own identity. So they didn't, they didn't name us Adam and Albert or Robert and Ralph or, you know, yeah. nothing like that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so he's an artist himself. He's a sketch artist. If you send him a picture of yourself, he can draw you. And it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So diving into the arts, who are some of your influences? Because you mentioned Terrence Howard, some of the ones that are from your hometown, Cleveland, Ohio. Who were some of your influences growing up into the modeling world because your photography is beautiful i took a look at your instagram here and your photography is absolutely beautiful thank you and acting who are some of your influences oh wow i mean as far as the modeling world i've always admired tyson Beckford as a as a you know as a male model um Naomi campbell of course um mm -hmm. iman you know i pay attention i really study you know what i love i can't help it you know what i mean like, I watched that movie totally different than anybody else would watch that movie or watch that show totally different. I'm watching it with you. I'm laughing with you, but I'm looking at it in a whole nother mind as an artist. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I have, I mean, Michael Jackson, as far as dancers. I'm a Janet Jackson fanatic. I'm a 
Janet Jackson. That's my girl. I, I love Janet. <laughs> that's my girl. I mean, that's my girl. I watched the interview with Vanessa Williams. She did. That, that was amazing. Vanessa Williams is is an influence. She's a she's multi talented, and I've always loved that yes. about her. She can sing. She's a model. She's an actress. She can do it all. And people that can do that have a special place in my heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But for male models, you've mentioned Tyson Beck, but back in the day, it, it was very, it was slim to none when it came to male models. But the women, um, as you've mentioned, Iman and Naomi Campbell, and of course, Beverly Johnson and so many others have shined. But Tyson was the only one. So, I mean, do you see the shift that is happening for male models out here in the fashion world? Because the fashion world in 2022 and the, in the year of 2020 has shifted so much it is um it's still with people of color a difficult industry yeah. he was he was an exception um but, but there is more room for us now but um i did find it hard you know i was signed in la to a couple of different agencies i'm not anymore at the moment um but it was still hard to find work they look for blonde hair blue eyes <laughs> you know that look you know, and it, it, as an African American male, it, it's, it's been a challenge. Um, but it's something that's in my heart, and it's art. It's work. It's artwork to me. Every time I do a shoot, or every time I do anything, really in the arts, I love it so much. Um, but, but it is still difficult in that in that industry. But Tyson Beckford was a big, big. Oh, he can do what I can do with it. You know, you know, or, you know, I can go after it at least. You know, I have a shot. So. Not only that, I'm glad you spoke about it. There is an issue with diversity in the world of fashion because I work in fashion, as you can tell from my Instagram and everything. I've been doing it for a long time. And I interviewed several models here on my platform from Kari Young to Connie Fleming to Carol to so many others who've been here on my platform. Mimi Roche, the list goes on and on. Um, it's amazing how far we've came from the 90s because in the 90s, there could only be one right. top black model. And I think it was Tyra Banks that was saying that because that's where the feud with her and Naomi began because yeah. it was just like, yeah. you know, the, the critiques of the fashion magazines and everything. We're looking for that top black supermodel. Only could be Whereas one. now, right. yes, only could be one it girl. One it girl. And cast calls, we can only imagine that they wanted a certain aesthetic. As you said, blonde hair, blue eyes, not our skin, not melanated. So mm -hmm. if you guys seen the documentary that was just recently shot, um, Iman did a whole documentary and it talked about models that were in that era, in the 90s era of modeling, different eras from the 70s, the 80s. Like each model had their era. From the 70s to the 80s, it was Pat Cleveland, Grace Jones, mm -hmm. and so many others. And then in the 80s, it was Iman. And then um, Naomi Campbell. The 90s, it was Beverly Hill, Hi. Beverly Johnson. Had Naomi Campbell. Like, the list goes on and on and on of who can be that top black model. The fashion world is definitely seen, and I see a push, but it's still, it, when it comes still. to designing as well, too. And I know um, I spoke about this a few weeks back on the Met Gala. Um, the biggest, it's like the Grammys for the fashion, for, uh, fashion the events. Met Gala? Yes, the Met Gala. And one stylist to the celebrities, um, Zendaya stylist, La Roach, brought a whole team with him of Black artists to showcase their work as well, too, because Black designers are not getting their recognition. So mm -hmm. it's just like, get seated at the table as well, too. Whereas back in the day, Black fashion designers would get no recognition at all. And I give you an example. I bring this one up all the time. Um, the woman who designed Jackie Kennedy Onassis's gown was a black woman, but they didn't mm. recognize her as a fashion designer by her name. They referred to her as a colored woman. So it just goes to show you how far we're, we're coming along in the fashion world, but there's still a conversation that needs to be had about these seats at the table for models as well as designers. And, and you know that goes along with like any industry, you know what I mean? That 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 favoritism or or the lack of favoritism when it comes to skin tone, you know what I mean? We're 
we're just talking about the entertainment and fashion industry, but it's everywhere. And it's a shame. That if you do it, you should get credit for it. You're talented. You should get love for it. No matter what, skin color. You know what I mean? So that's, that's so crazy to me. Um, but one thing I've always wanted to do with me going after my dreams is crush a lot of stigmas and, and say, I can do it. Like Tyson Bedford, you can do it. You can do it. You know, type thing. Yeah. And I'd be afraid. I'd be scared sometimes. Like, I go straight in, you know, go get it, you know. Then I'm good. So, yeah. I've been blessed to meet some amazing people and do some amazing things. Mm. Yes. And not only that, but your, my guest that I had on the show yesterday, Terry King, said the same thing about going at it. You know, don't not being afraid, but just going at going at whatever it is that your heart's desires of doing it with passion and i said i added on to what he was saying yesterday and i said just leap leap just do it if this is something that you really want to do if you want to be a model or if you want to get into the modeling world there's casting directors out here that can help you and i'm pretty sure beth ann hardison who's been a legend legendary supermodel who's been in the game for a long time, modeling the agency as well too she will be able to coach you. She will be able to help you. There's so many others out here that are in this business, that are in this industry. But you got to make sure that you have a strong mindset. Be prepared to be told, no, you're not what we're looking for. We want a certain look. We want a certain aesthetic. And what I'm also seeing come out is that models at fashion shows backstage, um, you guys can see my hair texture today. Um, I chose to wear it like naturally curly. And then yesterday I had a kind of wavy, so I'm always versatile with my hair, changing up. That's what they're looking for in the fashion. That's what you said, yeah. Yes. Now, Lindy Evangelista is a prime example because she changes her hair color effortlessly. And she she does it like it's nothing. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Going backstage at the fashion shows, we're hearing models say, well, they don't have anything for my hair texture. Mm -hmm. They don't have anything for my skin complexion. And the reason why is because back then, models would have to bring their own sorts of mm -hmm. makeup and foundation because the makeup artists wouldn't know how to blend that for our skin tone. Yeah. So have you looking crazy walking out there. <laughs> have you looking crazy like oh. Connie yeah. was to when I even Connie Fleming who's walked in shows for Terry the late Terry Mugler, God rest his soul. Um she was saying the models backstage for Mugler's show would have to bring their own foundation, would have to bring their own moisturizer for their hair, whatever it is, their own product, because sometimes the makeup artist would not know. Or if not, they just have to blend you to whatever they have, and you go out there looking pale and gray. So no, thank God, I have to say, thank God for Rihanna, now in the early 20s, because Rihanna has created a line that is for people of all mm -hmm. shades. We're, it's so mm -hmm. much melanin. It was so needed, so much. right? Absolutely. That's why it's so popular. It was needed. Right, and they run for it. And I've been backstage at runway shows and then New York Fashion Week, LA Fashion Week for our fashion shows and know exactly what you're talking about as far as it's been some time that they don't know what to do with the brown skin, you know, with the sisters. They don't know what to do with their hair or makeup or nothing like that. It's crazy. And, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I was watching a clip of a fashion show on this ethnic model, this model of color. She had a ponytail. It was sort of how Naomi Campbell used to wear. She's known for the, the hair flip and her walk. Um, she had her signature ponytail, and the hair texture was in the front was almost like my hair today. Mm. So I'm just like, are you going to press her hair down or do something? It should have been somebody who, who recognizes ethnic hair backstage. I would love to see your face when you first saw that. Like, I'm sure you're I, I did. Face about, oh, what? What? <laughs> wow, it's, it's not even because even I know that as a hair girl, I, I love changing up my hair. Um, when you do a ponytail, that hair is supposed to lay. It's not supposed to show like, yeah, you know, whatever. The hair is supposed to be slicked back. It's supposed to lay and it's supposed to look just like a, a beautiful, clear water. So, yeah, it was all uneven in the front and they just slapped the ponytail on the back. So I'm just like, what are we oh, doing here? You're like, poor baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, I know it. I know it. But, uh, yeah, it, it's my whole thing. I can relate to what you're saying. I've seen it backstage, runway fashion shows, uh, even photo shoots. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it's still uh, really a blessing. It really, truly is that I, oh, going back to, like, going after your, your dreams and being having that gut feeling that you're, you, you have nerves but still going, you know what I mean? 
it's something to be said about that, no matter what you're doing in life. It's something to be said about that. So I could say right now, if I was to leave this earth today, that I went after. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't sitting on the couch. I wasn't necessarily working on somebody's job just to pay the bills, which I still got to do that too with them. You know what I mean? But I got up and went. And like I said, I went on a Greyhound bus. Took three days. And that was 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. And that took Go to LA and never look back. And you followed your heart's passions yeah. and desires, and look where you are now. The photography is stunning. You Thank went you. after, it. and sometimes going after it can be a very uncomfortable thing, but you just have to do it. And shout out to my fraternal island Yankee. He told me there's nothing wrong with starting over and going after whatever it is that you want to do. There's mm. nothing wrong with. And even I've had to learn that. I'm just like, oh, my God, I, all this hard work, I have to start all over again. And to see from where I start over again is just like a process of being reborn. And I'm thankful for it. I love it. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, somebody told me now to look at it starting over. It's a recharge. Um, you know what I mean? Yes. You already had those experiences. They're in you already. You know, it's recharge and go back at it type thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, like you said earlier, you do have to have a, a strong will on who you are because you're going to get some no's. That's part of it, you know what I'm saying? And keep it pushing. But that, that's not easy for me to take either, you know? Because I want that part. I want that gig. I want this. And they tell me, you know, I already know what we're looking for. Or I didn't call home several times in Cleveland crying. <laughs> Calling my brother and my father, like, oh, you know. But, but I'm still here. I'm still pushing. I won't stop. Can't stop. Stop, stop. <laughs> that's, right. that's the mentality now speaking of modeling and can't stop won't stop let's get to acting because you also act as well too now who would be some of the actors that you would like to collaborate now we're manifesting this for the new year of 2023 come on now who would be your dream collab <laughs> if you would like to work with uh, I, had, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting a lot of people in LA um, and Keisha Campbell had a club called Zen Lounge. Um, she, she was, when she was still with Dwayne, they were big influences of mine. They, they were before I met them, but now I've been invited to their house. You know what I mean? Type thing. And then I met Samuel Jackson. He was way taller than I thought, taller than me. I'm 6'1", and he's taller than me. Um, but he was a great influence, has been. And meet him in person and just see the regular dude type dude, you know, and then go play his part was amazing. So I'm a regular dude, but, you know, we like to play pretend. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, it, it, that, those are two I could think of off the top of my head. I also met Will Smith, which is great, um, twice, because him and Dwayne Martin, he's his husband, are really good friends. So to go to this club, you never know who was going to come into this club. It was amazing. Uh, there's nothing like it in L.A., but it's closed now. Um, I think... Just me meeting these people was such an inspiration. You know what I mean? Actually, like, I'm shaking your hand. Hey, how you doing? I'm shaking Will Smith's hand. You know, Denzel, Angela Bassett, um, met them all. And, and I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So those are bigger influences. Angela Bassett, you almost had to pry me off of her. <laughs> I shook her hand and did not want to let go. <laughs> yeah. She's awesome. Awesome. And not it's funny you mentioned Angela Bassett and Will Smith, Tisha Campbell, all of them. They all have production background, directing background. So could you see yourself stepping behind the lens as well too? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that would be, I don't think I think that would just come natural to me. Um I'm a creative in front and behind the camera. So I think no, that wouldn't be a problem for me at all. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope all those connections come together in my in my to help. You know, if nothing is inspiration, but, you know, it's cool I've met these people. But, yeah, I can see myself on both sides. Mm -hmm. And it's all about versatility. Being in this business as an actor, as a model, as a producer, you have to be able to step behind them. Mm -hmm. And so many people, Tara Banks is one of them as yeah. well, too, producing her own programs and television shows as well to step in behind the lens on other things and off the scene and not just in the modeling world, but in other aspects of life as well, mm -hmm. too with film making and so much more. So I had to ask that question. I always now, admire people like that. 
I admire people like that. I mean, yeah, that's like Queen Latifah, per se. Rapper, actress, singer. You know, she, you know, and director also behind the camera, all that, you know. So I'm not ashamed to give my titles when somebody asks me, what do you do? I'm an actor. I'm a model. I'm a dancer. I'm a choreographer. And I'm a poet. I write and do performance poetry. So all of that. I'm giving all my titles, damn it. <laughs> okay. Let them know, love. Yeah, thank you. All right. So what skills would you give or what advice would you give to young people that are watching this interview right now, that are looking and saying, wow, if he can do it, I can do all of these things as well, too. Or someone who's just unsure or uncertain that this is the career path that they want to go into. Like, again, I said, you have to have the same type of mindset. You have to have a strong mindset. Mm -hmm. My advice would be like, man, if you have, it's in your heart. Whatever you want to do, you know it. You know what I mean? You know it in your heart. And get up and go after it. It's not going to happen sitting on the couch. It's not going to happen just sitting there thinking about it. You got to make moves towards it and constantly make moves towards it. And you get knocked down, get back up and keep going. You know what I mean? I tell myself the same thing. So somebody younger, I'm just preaching to them that it's, you're okay. Keep it pushing. You're all right. But just go after it. Mm. Absolutely. 100%. Did I answer that question? Yes. <laughs> Perfectly. Effortlessly. So we're going to have some fun here with Adam, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm going to take some questions from the audience, the viewers, because I see a lot of new faces coming in. Welcome if you're just joining in. Um, we're going to do something called the Rapid Five. Rapid. And Adam five. has to give me five things that he can't live without. And then in the next one, we're going to do something called Turn the Tables. And this is where my guests, for the new viewers that are coming in, you get to know a little bit about the hostess, Miss Stevie, and my things, my passions, my goals, whatever I like, turn offs, whatever it is. So we're going to start off with the Rapid Five. What are five things that Adam can't live without? It can be your favorite drink. Uh -huh. It can be whatever you like. Goals, whatever it is in life. Love. Mm. Love, number one. Uh, honesty. I need real people. Um, belief in, in a creator. Three. These are the things I can't live without. Um, cheap fake. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it, uh, uh, um, sex. That's just five. Okay. Okay. It's a whole list. Hello. <laughs> there we have it. That is five, ladies and gentlemen. That is his rapid five. And I love that you put love and family into it because going into this business, my mom didn't even, a lot of our parents kind of, and I'll give you an example. Um, everybody knows Brandy, the singer, right? Grammy Award the story about singer, her. the vocal binder. Yes. She did not want her daughter going into the business. She's um, Arsenio Hall. She did an interview. Her and her mom did an interview with Arsenio Hall, and they asked her, "Would you want your daughter in the business?" She said, "No, my daughter's." Her mom and her, her were very adamant. They did not want her daughter into the music business. But fast forward in the teenage years, the years where she's grown up and progressed into an adult, mm -hmm. a young adult, they let her sing, they let her perform. And she has her own YouTube channel. So shout out oh, to Sarah. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and they're supposed to be doing a documentary on their parents' legacy. I think it's coming out on VH1. So you guys stay tuned for that. There's See, Brandy and there's a bunch of other kids. Remind who me. Grew up in the limelight of their parents. I think it's Ice mm -hmm. Cube's son and other people, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, they changed their mind. Our parents kind of shield us from this business because it's like, you don't know what you're getting yourself mm -hmm. into. So it's important to have family behind you 100% and an important support circle backing you. Mm -hmm. did, did you ask me a question right there? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Did I? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, we got a question for you um, from my paternal Island Yankee. He wants to know, is it harder being behind the lens as an actor because you know mm -hmm. when someone is not giving their all? Um... Uh, you can tell whether you're in front of the camera or behind the camera whether somebody is 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 giving it because as an actor you have to portray you you have to give the you are actually playing pretend but you're in your you know 
you know, you can tell either way. I'll put it like that. Behind or in front of the camera. All right. And yes, we're going to be taking questions throughout the interview at the end part. Before we close out, we're going to take some questions as well, too. Now it's time for Adam and everybody to get all up in the Stevie's business. All right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to find out what are some of my goals some of my passions. I don't know what questions he's going to ask me, but I'm going to allow Adam to ask as many questions as he wants. And this is called Turn the Tables. And this is where my oh, guests get to turn ask the tables. Yeah. Okay, right. what is your ultimate goal, Stevie? What is your ultimate goal in life? What do you want to do? What is your passion? My, my ultimate goal would be to take this platform, because there's not, there's not a whole lot of Black women in daytime. I mean, you've got Jennifer Hudson, you've got Sherry Shepard, just to name a few, but there's there's very little. It's slim to none. Back in the day, you had Oprah, you had Queen Latifah, as you've mentioned, um, Rolanda Watts. Like, it was mm -hmm. Blood, like Cameron Hall. The list goes on and on of Black female talk show hosts, but it's only like three, and it's Tamron, Jennifer, and Sherry. And, of course, Laverne, she has her show on E! as well, too. So it's like, I'm cool. Female, so yeah. I want to up there in those lists with of women of color that are in day prime. So that would be my long-term goal. Okay. Also to exceed in the fashion world as well, too. Fashion and world for, probably as well. what aspect of yeah. hair or makeup? Design. 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 Yes. Design. Yes. Okay. Design. Okay. I would love to design because I'm everyone is noticing the fashions here on these platforms. No, I did not make them. <laughs> <laughs> I've just styled them and put together. Hence the name Style by Stevie. So right. no. But I would love to make stuff that is similar to that, but I would put my own weight onto it. Be original. Because one thing I'm known for is just being bold, being unapologetic and fearless in my approach to fashion. More importantly, take risks and add lots of color. Mm -hmm. I, I say it all the time. I, I say this all the time in one of my posts. Drama. I'm all about drama when it comes to fashion. Big hair, long nails, big personality, mm -hmm. everything. That's me. Because I am, you know, and I like to Walk into the room, own it, and command it. Oh, that's right. My type of people. My type of people. You should design something for the Met Gala. You should have somebody wearing something you designed for the Met Gala. That's, that's right. all about. Like, I want to go there so bad. That's some place I would love to go to one of those events. Would love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do I have another question to ask? As, as many as you want. Okay, okay. What is your proudest, proudest achievement? My proudest so achievement? You, yes, you've mentioned it in the beginning of this interview, but I've had some recently as well, too. Um, that Vanessa Williams interview is one of my biggest, biggest achievements. Like, I was nervous that day. People couldn't tell because the way I introduced her and everything in the interview, the ebb, like our interview is just flowing right now, the ebb and the flow of that interview. I was a nervous wreck on the inside. But when she opened up and she came on camera, she said, hi, how you doing? And I looked into those beautiful blue eyes. All I could do was I was like, hey, girl. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> how you doing? Woman. She's yeah, a beautiful yes, woman. I always she, has been. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I thought she was the biggest misconception. I thought she was going to be like a diva or something. And no, it was like I was having a conversation with an old what? man. So that is one of the biggest highlights of my career thus far. I know I was today. proud people of you. Assume. I was okay. proud of you. People I thought you go, girl. You go. People are still <laughs> talking about it. That one and my most recent achievements with almost hitting the 400 episodes. Yes, I, and, and no sick days, you guys. None whatsoever. I put my all into this platform, and I do it five mm -hmm. days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'm consistent with it. But then there are days when I'm just like, I, I got to take a break. So that I can come back and I can reset and I don't wear myself thin. Because you can wear yourself and wear yourself and wear yourself. So oh, yeah. you can't give no more. Mm -hmm. So make sure you take yourself. That's one key thing. That's what, so is it good? Is it easy for you to notice when it's time to take a break? Absolutely. Because like, my body will be tired. Right. And I'm just like, okay, I can't do this. But I'm, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because I can't let the supporters down. I can't let the viewers down. And there's days when I'm just like, okay. This day is free. I'm going to take this day off, take this day off, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to come back and then refresh, renew. And you feel and good, day. right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said hi to everybody that's watching, by the way. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
I, I I don't I don't know how long we gotta we got to do this, but I have to run in a minute. Is okay. that okay? All right, fashion dolls, yes, and we can conclude with the final thought. Um, I don't want to keep you long if you gotta run. So closing out twenty twenty two, because like I said, you are the last guest for this year I'm so of twenty twenty two. This is the last I'm so for this year. We completed all of them through the year of twenty twenty two. You guys can go and catch up the replays. What is one thing you would give? To people going into the new year because it's just like reset having a reset yeah i just um i'll say this real quick i just kind of got out of a dating situation um so i'm now again single um but it was it, it that's a long story but nonetheless that life goes on and you got to keep pushing and the new year is new beginnings and i'm looking forward to that you know i'm really looking forward to that and i think everybody else should too as long as i'm living and breathing I can fix the rest of it. <laughs> and you can keep on pushing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Adapt that mindset. And Terry said the same thing yesterday as well, too, when he was here. Keep pushing, keep going, following your dreams, your heart's endeavors. I can't keep Adam, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to close out right here. Let everyone know where they can follow you and they can check out the photography because, again, the photography is absolutely breathtaking. Thank you. So I appreciate that. As a model, I try to do different stuff. I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. I try to work with the good people, you know what I mean, in, in order to come out with the best uh, product. Um, but you can find me on Instagram, AdamBC54, uh, Facebook, Adam Bryant. Uh, AdamBC54 is all Twitter, Instagram, and just Adam Bryant on Facebook. Yeah, cool. I look forward right, to it, and thank you very much. You are so welcome. We can do this again this our, some other time. I'm honored to be your last you. guest this year. You got to circle back around. Okay. That'd be, that'd be my pleasure. I'm glad this happened. Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Talk to you soon. And thank you guys, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Peace. Take you, everyone. Last interview for 2022, wrapping up this year. Thank you guys so much for tuning in throughout the season of Style by Stevie Season 16. And you guys can check out season 17 starting in January 2nd at 4 p.m. We will be back season 17, January 2nd, and the lineup is up. So make sure you guys go and check that out. Special thanks to our very special guest, Mr. Adam Bryant. A special thanks to you, Fashion Dog.